Okay, let's compare with the 9024 for the decoding using the pass fail. We've done that with this uh, old scope. Uh, still a good scope, by the way. Uh, one thing limited, and this is why I, I've sold the scope. This is no longer my scope. Uh, I have to borrow it back to show the difference, but basically you could show an even table, but you are limited only to what you have on the screen on the bottom. Uh, by the way, it's a nice thing you could ask yourself to look on the start or the end of the packet quickly, but uh, other than that, it's uh, it's quite limited to 11 or 12 packet that you could show on the on the display. So it's all, it's only serial at 9600 volts, or you could do it manually, but. Uh, if if you want to wear, play with faster packet, you you will need some triggering, and uh, you will not be able to do stop or or if you are lucky maybe. But uh, basically, so this is only very slow packet on serial. Uh, you need to trigger on something different. Here's a long packet. Sometimes there is medium packet, but anyway, let's zoom back to twenty. And by the way, there is a, each time you zoom, I hate this, but that's another feature that is not very well polished. You lose your, your, your synchronization. So if I, example, if I go back down, go back up, packet is not there anymore. So we have to push your trigger, put back again, 20, trigger is gone. So you have to put it where you want it. And, and start again with the so it's those are small bugs so far uh, and, and other than that I'm very happy with the with this scope uh, let's try to do the same thing we want to capture uh, you could play stop with the with this uh, but on fast uh, signal you will not be able to do this so use the pass fail feature turn it on uh, you have to do a single or stop because it will always move behind you that's a one thing that I, I also could be polish so you have a packet on the screen you want to create a pass fail window out of it you could play with amplitude but it's only visible when you create the packet so it's it's sometimes difficult to to see what you're doing until you, you do the create. But once you got it, you could do operate. Again, that's the issue. Now it's fine. It has captured the packet, luckily. Uh, Sometimes it displays the old packet and you, you, you don't understand why it's, it's doing that. So now we got this. We could try to zoom on it. Uh, you could go here, zoom on and it deactivate on the background the pass fail uh, once you got there you could zoom somewhere that you understand that you have the information you, you need then do the decode you could decode turn decode one on uh, and by the way if you if you want to see if your decode is fine and this this is nice feature easier to see uh, with this new scope as long as you got the, the correct decoding parameters this link this line would stay would stay uh, dark if I activate the wrong pattern you see where it has difficulty to, to decode so let's move back to the right parameter so we have to watch out for the speed start stop bit parity things like that now you got this we got a good decoding. You can move a little bit those uh, those view. Let's go to another deco. Could activate the deco number two. There is four. Um, this is this is right. Instead of using um, binary, we could use hexadecimal. Activate this thing and show a trigger table on this one. So I got the trigger table number two. Could also add trigger table number one, decoded one. 
on so you, you could put a lot of information on the scope you have to pick your poison so Terrigiton line feed is the end of the short packet and now there is some character after that um, one nice thing also is you could have two you could change the display uh, another way to display this thing is put it there like this so you have a longer view you could unzoom a little bit and it's still, it's still workable so it's a uh, quite a nice way to have it um, but if you want to activate the pass fail pass fail is disabled so it's kind of a same situation as the the old school if you want to use pass fail again um, you only need to deactivate the zoom area and the pass fail is still available in the background um, let's remove this thing that is if you only want to show statistics you could go there that's for the display parameter let's go again to pass fail when pass fail is active uh, you could operate from here now we got the bug issue that is stopped sometime on the wrong well it stopped at the right packet but displayed the wrong packet the previous packet you have to work anytime i'm sure regal will fix this at some point it's just a timing memory issue but for now it's not very good so it's that that's a first bug that is really annoying All, other than that so far it's uh, it's working so this is the normal operation as it should be all the time but it's not as you've seen it's not always like that again once you got that you could try to activate the zoom if you activate the zoom the pass fail disappear now you got the other packet it's forgot a little bit the the zoom but we could put it there so here is the here's the nice thing we got the two day code you could call it uh, like that